we're back. We're back. We have figured out how to do this shit during Corona Apocalypse, and cheers. Probably would have probably would have been doing it more often if either one of us were smart enough to have picked up on using Zoom before a, a global pandemic hit. But hey, I use Teams. I mean. You know, that's kind of part of my job. Yeah, but you on the flip side, you you just as well as I did didn't think for a minute, you know, Jason and I could do this shit with with Zoom and do it online and it'd be a lot easier and a lot easier to get together. Cause but mm. neither one of us ever claimed to be smart, man. No. 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 What are you drinking this evening, Wes? I am drinking this delicious barrel-aged innocent gun ooh, bourbon ooh. barrel porter. Nice. It is it is indeed deep, rich, and complex. What would you compare it to? Would you compare it? I mean it's bourbon barrel. Would you compare it to like dragon's milk or something like that? Kind of dragon's milkish. It's not quite as strong. It's only 7.4. Um okay. But it's got a lot less of that. You're put it you've put a shot of whiskey in the beer, you know. All right. Um, so it's a lot smoother. I mean, it's really smooth. It's good nice. shit. Yeah. So I am drinking the Polly's Island Gray Man Porter. Oh. Um, it's got, it's only 7.2, so not very high. Mm. Well, okay, not what I'm used to because I drink liquefied fucking dead bodies. But, mm-hmm. um, it's like got a little smoky flavor to it. And of course I'm drinking it like, you know, in my trademark Iron Maiden glass. Cause that's, you know, what I do. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, oh. So Wes, <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> I had the most awesome movie that I wanted you to watch. Like you it son was of fucking, bitch. it was like groundbreaking. I mean, this movie it not winning an Academy Award is a crime. But then I said, fuck that. I want you to watch Winter Beast instead. <laughs> yeah, you you son of a bitch. <laughs> this and movie... I, I I love you, I love you, Janice, but you son of a bitch. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> what? His Seriously. wife. So his I watched it a week ago. Um I took notes on it so that I wouldn't I have to make time to go back through it because I don't have time um, to do that this week. It's been crazy. But <laughs> I'm sitting on the couch last night with my wife, and I get a text message from Wes. It says, what the fuck are we watching? <laughs> and then an hour later, I have a text from his wife. What first text says, I hate you. Second te- text says that movie was fucking trash. And then the third text was a picture of a trash can. <laughs> oh yeah. No, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to do a lot to make that up to her. Um, oh good. Well, you might want to do it fast. Cause I got another one for you. Actually, you're going to have to do a lot to make that up for her because I've already apologized shit. profusely. <laughs> Dude, you, <laughs> you you saw you saw my meme on Facebook, the glove slap. Yeah, mm-hmm. no. Oh yeah. No, she she demand she demands recompense for this. She demands satisfaction, sir. She can demand. She ain't gonna get. Nineteen ninety two was a hell of a year. Apparently. Uh, I think I was <laughs> I was in middle school. I, um, I'm class you, of ninety seven. So I would have been. Yeah, you had to have been last year of middle school or first, no, last year of middle school because I was a sophomore in high school. So. Yeah, you know, class, I was in the class eighth of 94. Grade. So I was in the eighth grade when this shit circus came out. Mm-hmm. Um, did it come out? No, or am I thinking about the one I just watched? When, pull up the IMDb when, page. Did it I says think- no. It says 1992, and I can yeah, actually... I got it right. Ta-da! <laughs> 1992. 
I don't so, I don't know how I don't know how this is being presented. I don't know if it's switching it to great. me and to you, but no, it yeah. looks great. Um, so the IMDb page, this is the wonderfulness that is Winter Beast. The the poster. Oh, it, it came with a special edition DVD. Yeah. Um so this movie was an indie film. Um Clearly. there's nobody in this film that is a name. Um, I, and I actually thought that I recognized the main bad guy. Like I thought I had seen yeah. him in something else, but then I ran his IMDB and he's got nothing. He's, yeah. I, I could yeah. swear that he was somebody because man, the only redeeming quality of this movie was the bad guy. Really? And he... <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't even really the bad guy. He was the annoying no. red herring. Okay. So Yeah, he was he was the creepy, creepy, creepy um you know, inn owner who thought he ran the town and man, when he got his creep on, it was delicious. Well we will get to that. We need to <sighs> so atypical reviewer synopsis. Uh, this film is about a group of rangers um, up in uh, up in the north somewhere. I don't even think uh, they specify in in that. in a mountain is sort of yeah. thing somewhere ish kind of. They've got fellow rangers going missing, and what it amounts to is there are there's like this evil ass totem pole and monsters are coming out and killing people off at rando. Um, yeah. Like demons, like snatching people yeah. that are vaguely supposed to be native American ish kind of uh, ish. Um, I think they may have done like prophecy and hired a few Italians to play native Americans. I don't um, even, I don't I don't even think that they did that because the one the one guy who was sort of native was uh, about as white as me. Yeah, Charlie, uh, the store owner. Yeah. Dude, that dude was pasty. No, I mean now to backtrack. Um I'm you know I've got a lot of Native American blood in me. I'm not gonna go so far as to say that I'm Native American. Um my great grandmother on my mother's side was blackfoot uh indian but <clears throat> i mean i'm a six foot three viking white dude i mean mm. i'm not gonna sit run around claiming and this dude was so pasty it was unreal it was wow i am i am 100 percent white according to two different dna things yeah 100 <laughs> percent um, there, there is no native nothing there. No, I've got some Celt. I've got mostly Celtic going on. So you got Bill, the main character, um, Ranger Bill. Yeah. Ranger Bill. You've got Charlie, the store owner. Um, and then you have Dave Sheldon, who's the rich <laughs> lodge owner we were just talking about. And so as things escalate, um, they want to start closing the mountain down and this film is very jaws. So they want to close the mountain <laughs> down, but the very rich in a uh, casino owner wants to keep it open and because he doesn't want to lose money. I, 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 I don't know how rich he actually is. I mean, he yeah. did raffle off a used toaster. Yeah, really. I mean, that, that was his big raffle prize was a, probably a in that used town, an income toaster. of a, of a thousand dollars a month is, is probably quite wealthy in 1992 in that town. That, uh, that actually a thousand dollars a month back then would have been. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, yeah. So there's a female ranger, Ranger Bradford. And for a little bit, you think there might be kind of a love interest thing and then she gets killed off. And is it me? Or does no one in this film really seem to give a shit? Nobody. No, when no. Somebody gets killed off. Nobody. Because, I mean, it's like, you know, we've had a person missing for 24 hours. Um, okay. And then they're never mentioned again. Moving um, on. The, the female ranger who may or may not have been a love interest, she goes away. <laughs> Nobody cares. Uh, yeah. yeah. 
it's like and then you know the the dude guy with the sunglasses the best friend who's oh my god dude i could not stand him this guy was a hound and like Mm -hmm. in the beginning of the film he's looking at tit pics Mm -hmm. in the lodge gets the main character bill to look at the tit pics with with him and then they go to the casino and the dude's hitting on old ladies i mean Mm -hmm. like the guy would stick his dick in a tree stump and he probably did, uh, you know, was probably that did was, they cut that scene. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that's on the special edition. We right? clear, we clearly missed that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, um, I mean, okay. You know, their, their prop guy must've had some fun with that because, you know, when they were looking at the porn mag with, you know, the, the pages were sticking together, oh, which yeah. I mean, gross. The, yeah. That's like amazing. Like attention to detail in that one thing. With, in a movie and where then the writing is else. haphazard, the acting is like something you would see on a high school stage. I mean, yeah. Oh God. Um, so things escalate, and you start to see more of the monsters and their their claymation, and like yeah. not not even like stop. Like I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and say that this ain't Harryhausen because. Harry Housen, yeah. Harry Housen, but this is claymation that you, the kind of stuff you would have done in college. I yeah, have to let's say, let, let's give them an example. Let's yes, give an example. It's in the uh, opening scene. <laughs> I mean, good God, what is this thing doing? <laughs> that's that's like that's like proto robot chicken. Now, I mean, <laughs> but here's the and thing, then Ken man. Jennings. Uh, like peeling that's pretty good yeah i have I mean, to say that's pretty good yeah some of the i mean the practical effects that they did for some of this was actually okay and yeah and it, honestly, it just for what it was it is, not it was not befitting of the shitty ass movie no and <laughs> for what it is the claymation isn't awful i mean it's a low budget film i don't know that they spent ten thousand dollars to make this movie i don't I didn't even bother to look mm, at that. I, I don't. I don't think. I don't think that figure was provided because. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> it was written on the back of a post-it note, maybe. Um, I don't think they could afford a post-it note. It was. Uh, it was on the back of like one of those freebies that you got from like uh, the doctor's office. Yeah. You know, here's a here's a notepad. Yeah. <laughs> so, you've got, and then like most of any of the other characters, really outside of bill charlie and dave are just meat bags uh-huh. to be killed off you had uh ranger bradford ended up being a total meat bag you had two rando women hiking and with like the 90s mega hairdos they yeah. killed those you perms were pretty epic. Yeah, you had the one chick in a room <laughs> that had absolutely nothing to do with the movie whatsoever. She was just in her room. Her purpose was to take her shirt off, be topless, uh-huh. and get killed by this claymation monster. Uh huh. Yeah, that was it. And unfortunately, we can't show you that. No, we can't we, show you that one. We really um, can. Um, not that we would really want to either, because. Good grief. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, we don't, like, we we, we... we love you. We love you guys. We could. You know? I don't know how to do the sensor bars in iMovie yet. I'm still working on that. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So I, yeah. Things kind of escalate. Um, so this old Indian <laughs> medicine man, and he gives Ranger... It's not the Ranger Bill or Charlie, but he gives them a box that has a monster tooth and a pecker in it. Uh Uh-huh. And I'm here to tell you that I know shit is real when a Native American dude walks up to me and hands me a box with a foreign-looking tooth in it that doesn't look like it comes from any monster I've ever seen and a dick. Yeah, and on top of that, the the Native American dude was one of the meat bags. Actually, the, he was he was like one of the guys. No, no, he didn't survive till the end. But no, he no, did not. 
No, but he was one of the, the he was the whitest Indian that you have yes, ever seen. He was another Sorry. one. The the whitest Native American <laughs> you have ever seen, or a Native Canadian, maybe I I don't. They, it it might might have been. Yeah. Did it? Did a lot of the sound effects in this film seem like they came from the Evil Dead, like the original Evil Dead? Uh, maybe. I mean, it did have an uh, alleged composer attached to it. Um. You know, he he was doing his synthesized. You know, he was really working the Moog out. You yeah. know, with the with the, you know, music in that movie. As if you could call it that. Yeah. That no, theme, I mean, buddy. Oh my god. No, I mean, you you could tell when when shit was about to heat up because they played that one. You know, strike the you know me. Oh. And then yeah, I mean it was. <laughs> I can't. I can't really describe adequately how bad this movie is. <laughs> that somehow has a five point one out of ten on IMDb. Come on, people! Yeah. Oh what? my god! How? What was, what was the name of the god? How? Jack <laughs> I don't. I don't <laughs> something. Something like that. <laughs> It, it didn't didn't sound. I mean, <sighs> so Bradford, the way she goes out was probably. I mean, I think I fell off my couch. I was laughing so hard. So they <sighs> they all split up and they're going out looking for whatever the hell's killing hikers and whatnot. And Bradford, uh, Ranger Bradford, comes across a grave. And gets attacked by a mummy. Uh huh. A, a mummy. I mean, so so we've got claymation creatures. We've got the woods coming to life, and these unspeakable Native American demons are attacking people. And the best we can do to kill off one of the characters is a fucking mummy. <laughs> not a, not only that, but this was a a Christian grave, like. It was like from yeah. like the the seventeen hundreds apparently. Wow. Yeah, I'm like. Oh, so yeah, we have yeah. got to get to the sequence where we figure out that Dave Sheldon is at that point the villain. Yeah, and I mean, I was really, I was really waiting for like that scene um, to end. Well, I was waiting for that scene to end, but I was also waiting for um, the music from Reservoir Dogs to kick up instead of that creepy soundtrack that they oh were playing. Oh my god! What kind of music is that? Because that was big. <laughs> that was what music <laughs> sounded like back at the and in, in, in the earliest days. Is it called um, Lindsay? It was, yeah, something like that. So, oh, it was crazy. Bill shows up. I think Bill and Charlie both show up to the casino and they find Dave in his office or study or whatever. And he puts on this record that starts singing this horrible, like, whimsy song that stays in your head it's a total fucking earworm for it stayed in my head for days after wouldn't get out and he puts on this cherub mask and just starts dancing to it let's see if i can i think i can grab that yeah try to grab that because that's just too good to see and do they, okay. they don't show like clips of it and they don't, and it's not just here and there and like, okay, he's doing this and we'll cut to that. And then he's doing, they play the whole damn song and he dances to it. The whole, there he is. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm so, telling you, he looks so familiar. I know. I mean, he, he looks like he's been a villain in something else you know, I mean, this is clearly not the first thing he's done, and if it was, good grief. Yeah, really. It's kind of like Tommy Wiseau. He was, I mean, the room was just really bad. 
But <laughs> his screen <sighs> test is the Joker. Holy shit. <laughs> he could do the Joker. So I'm loving this. He's singing along He's to singing it. along with it. And it's like this really high-pitched little cherub voice. You can hear it on your end. What is this shit? <laughs> I mean, what is this? And he's like, he's into it. I mean, he now I have to give him props on this scene, but I mean, he was into this scene. I mean, he gave it one hundred percent. I can't be mad. Oh, I can. <laughs> <laughs> no, I no, I re- I really can't. This this five this like five minute sequence of the movie. It's the it best ha- part of the whole fucking movie. It is. It really is. I mean, <laughs> it really is. Just um, just watch it from about fifty minutes into it if you dare find this thing, and I guess we can provide the link to. It. Oh yeah, I'll put the link down in the description. <laughs> But yeah, um, I mean, this is yeah. this is this is the reason to watch this movie. This is the best scene in this movie. This is why we drink. <laughs> oh shit! No, drink to that. Um. So Sheldon's <laughs> Dave Sheldon's nutbags, and he he ends up getting killed at some point. Bill falls into quicksand. Because apparently in the mountains, quicksand is a thing. Apparently yeah. that's a real issue. Um, or at least it was back in the 90s, I guess. Um, gasoline, yeah, a- apparently just pouring gasoline on totems makes them explode. Yeah. Like as soon as you put the match on them, they will explode and like Michael Bay style. Like they'll explode and then they'll explode again and then they'll explode again and then they'll explode again. I mean, yeah. And apparently up in the mountains, there are these cabins that are on completely flat land that there is no mountainous terrain around that giant, like sort of Godzilla ish things chase you around. And then poof, Um, the winter beast. So so now we get the titular oh, the titular sorry. monster. There he is. The yeah, after we get chased by that thing, we get rah. the titular monster, the Winter Beast, and it looks like any like methed out heavy metal chick you've ever seen when you've gone to a a Slayer concert. Like you're enjoying the concert, but she just won't go away. I think there she is. Her, yeah, I think we call her heavy metal grandma. Yeah, there she is. They right there. use yeah. that clip over and over and over again. Yeah, and apparently flare guns are very effective against it. I guess so. Yeah, I, I don't know if they thought that was supposed to be like a rocket launcher, uh, but apparently, no, it's uh, just. A flare gun that somehow you don't have to reload. Um, you know what? I'll bet you he borrowed uh, Solid Snake's headband from Metal Gear Solid 2. Yeah, could be. Inf- yeah. Infinite ammo. Could be. Could be. Yeah. Because, you know, there's flare guns. They're like Full disclosure, super, I hated that game. <laughs> super accurate and like completely deadly and stuff. Those flare okay. guns. Unpopular yeah. opinion time. I hated Metal Gear Solid 2. There, I said it. That's not I, unpopular. <laughs> oh my god! I, that if I wanted, game ended the series for me. I'm like, you know what? I will play through part one repeatedly. I'm done. After no, yeah, I'm, yeah. Three was better. Four. Mm, no. Um, I've got Metal Gear Solid Five. You know the five series, and I still have not played them because I just don't want to. Yeah, <laughs> I got them for oh, free yeah. through a humble bundle. I mean, <laughs> you know, that's. Of course, then again, I'm also that guy that doesn't really like The Office all that much, <laughs> and apparently that's sacrilege. I called. I got called that, the Antichrist today. <laughs> that is also not an unpopular opinion. I could not stand that show, the either the UK or the US version. I just there you know? it has its moments. 
and yeah. hasn't, but other than that, kind of like this movie. Yeah. Well, I mean, it had, you know, it had five minutes. Yeah, this five movie had minutes. five minutes that it was worth a damn. So yeah. this is one of those movies like you watch on how to not make a movie. Uh-huh. You don't go to Radio Shack and buy a fucking VHS recorder and get your buddy who thinks he knows how to do claymation. The one thing they did right in regard to tech in this film is it didn't look as bad as it could have. Mm. Um, there is another indie film that I watched, uh, Psycho Pike, that Psycho was, Pike. You, oh God. Yeah, you wait, because that's coming to you next. Um, no, it doesn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Um, and it was made around the same time, and it looks terrible. It really just visually looks ugly. This film does not look bad. Um, yeah, well, audio, considering considering it was shot on like a Super 8. Something like, like that, yeah. <laughs> um, the, the, the practical makeup effects were not awful. And the totem pole looked pretty fucking cool. Okay, the totem pole looks cool. The model of the totem pole looks cool. Yeah. When they had the full size totem pole with just sort of a skeleton pasted to the side of it, not yeah, so much. Not, yeah. <laughs> Let me so, see if I can find it. No, it's got to be around here somewhere. Th- this is um, not the most ignorant movie we've ever watched. It's really close. I don't think it's as bad as Apocalypse Kiss. Ew, yeah, no, I will take. I will take. I will take the Pepsi challenge on that shit. No, you, uh-uh. you, you mad, bro? <laughs> I know your girl is. You made my wife angry. <laughs> I could tell. <laughs> she like she like that's your motherfucking friend. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sure, and I'm sure it was said a whole lot louder than that. Um. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> Winter Beast. Yeah, you know what? Don't don't don't, don't do you, that to yourself. If Just... you want to do that to yourself, if life has got you down that far, there is help. There are people you can talk to, but. In case you're just insistent, the link will be in the description. You just make sure that when you're watching this, do not watch this alone. Because what makes this movie entertaining is watching it with somebody who is, they, 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 they to them, movies are the Avengers and Lord of the Rings and Star Wars and these epic movies. You need to show them this. To oh. slap him in the face with reality. Come on, come on. Right? <clears throat> yeah. Oh. Win- winter Beast. So, <laughs> but you know Jason. who we have to blame for this shit? Bill Mulligan? Jerry Chandler. Oh, well, that was the other guess, of course. And he did it to <laughs> us again. Uh, no, he did it to you again, Jason. No, he did it to us because... No, he did it to you, Jason. Next episode of Beer in a Movie is going, we're going to, so one of the things that we're going to be able to do now that we're doing this virtually, and to be honest, it will probably, even after things have gotten better, it will probably mostly stay like this because frankly, this is easier on us because we're both busy, um, is we'll be able to have guests on. So our next round, we are going to have the, infinite infamous bill mulligan and we're also <laughs> going to have jerry chandler who is one hundred thousand percent to blame for this shit and for psycho pike and what makes psycho pike what makes it that much worse he went looking for it he dug for it that movie was buried it was forgotten it was lost okay Somebody and found this movie and put it on YouTube, and then the YouTube buried the link. Okay, Jerry found it. It's that bad. I hate you, Jason. I don't know. I hate me too. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Uh, 
hey, you know what? There's a lot of movies to watch and a ton of beer to drink. So until next time. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers. motherfucker. (laughs) Oh, I hate you.